So you did your coronary artery calcium scan, got your results back, and now you're wondering, what does this mean? Is my heart okay? Here's how I break down calcium scores for my patients. I'm Dr. Simeon Lee. I'm a cardiologist focused on women's heart health. In our last post, we talked about what a calcium score is and why it's such an important test. Now, let's go over how to make sense of it for someone's results and what to do next. Before we dive in, if you feel like you need more help with your heart health, your cholesterol, calcium scores, please feel free to book a free consult with my team at Systole. The link is in our bio. So let's dig in. If someone gets a calcium score back of 0 to 100, that means that there's no or minimal hard plaque, and that's generally great news. Their short-term risk of heart disease is low, and they can usually hold off on statins unless they have risk-enhancing features like diabetes, smoking, or a strong family history. We like to continue to work on lifestyle like diet, exercise, sleep, and stress management. If someone has a calcium score from 101 to 299, this means that there is hard plaque buildup. They're at moderate risk for heart disease, and now is the time to really prioritize lifestyle changes and most likely, in most cases, start a statin. If the calcium score is greater than or equal to 300, this shows significant hard plaque. This kind of person is at really high risk for heart disease and prevention optimization is key. That might mean increasing a statin dose or considering other therapies to add on like azetamide, bembidoic acid, or PCSK9 inhibitors like Repatha. The calcium score helps us personalize prevention plans, not scare patients, but just guide them. So let us know what questions you still have about calcium scores. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and otherwise follow along to keep learning more about heart health.